Well, here we are, week six. Looking at the final chapters, or as you guys put down, the next battles for openness. Data, algorithms, and competency mappings. Now, it's kind of interesting, because this is the planet Mars in the background, of course. And my name is actually on the planet Mars. It's uh, on one of the CDs that were inscribed with the names of uh, people who are interested in the project. Uh, and put on Opportunity, and Opportunity was one of the rovers that was roving, and is still roving around Mars. It's kind of neat to think about. I wonder who will own that disc in the year 2400. One of the future challenges of, of data and ownership. You know, we, we, we look at the future challenges as new kinds of data, at least that's the way it's sort of presented there, right? Algorithms, data, competencies, things like that. I wonder if the new kind of challenges for openness are going to be not just the types of data, not even just the way people use the data, because people are going to use and abuse the data in all number of different ways. But I'm wondering if it's going to be new, entirely new kinds of openness. Um, you know, if George Orwell, of course, thought about the concept of a thought crime and whether we could be open with the ways that we think. Now, we're going to have communication systems that allow us to communicate directly, mind to mind, with each other. Uh, it'll be subvocal communications with, uh, you know, subcutaneous, uh, I don't want to say amplifiers because that would be very loud, but speakers or, micro or, or whatever that allow us to hear other people's thoughts. How open is that going to be? What kind of environment is that going to be? It's, a, it's an interesting and, and odd sort of thought. What about also the way we can combine and recombine data? Not, not simply, are we allowed to do this? But are there some combinations or recombinations that are okay and other combinations and recombinations that are not allowed? And you might think, that makes no sense whatsoever. What, if we look at something like genetic data, let's say we took genetic data and we mixed it with the result of algorithmic data so that we created some kind of hybrid that half machine language, half human, would that be okay? You know, a lot of the issues of, of ethics and what it means to be a person and what it means to be a society are going to be challenged by the new possibilities of creating, manipulating, and sharing new kinds of information. And I think openness is going to be challenged by these things. We're seeing that very sort of thing happen today. You know, one kind of openness was the sort of openness that was inspired by things like the Bill of Rights or Charters of Rights and Freedoms, where you have freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, freedom of religion, etc. You know, those were the original freeism and freedoms, if you will. And these freedoms never envision a world of Facebook or a world of social media and fake news and Donald Trump and all of that. And, and what are we to make of that sort of world in the future where, you know, the, the, the free as and freedoms that we have now result in really strange and unusual combinations that threaten to undermine the social order as, you know, free as in speech is doing today. How do we manage this? How, how do we control, and I don't want to say control, but how, how, do, how do we manipulate, design, manage our freedoms, including the, the five R's, including freedom of access, freedom of information and all of that, in a way that kind of future proofs us against the genetic freak kind of Donald Trump of the future? It's an interesting question and one I'll leave you with. Thank you for the course, guys. It's been fun. We'll see you 
Let me see you.